And we're back. Um, if this is the unofficial Jersey Shore Boys fantasy baseball preview show. Um, wanted to clarify on the, you know the Kardashian thing. You know, I definitely have keep my eyes on. You know, I, I, at least I have been with Kim Kardashian for a while because she was dating. You know, so many athletes that. It was only a matter of time before she, you know, decided to go after, like, you know, an amateur athlete. You know, I know, like, somebody like George the Greek would want to think that he would be, like, you know, somebody more fitting, but I'm afraid not, because Captain Personality would never be able to talk to Kim Kardashian. Um, as for the rest of you guys, well, I, I, I'm afraid that you just don't carry the looks. So... I mean, I can get pretty dolled up when need be, just like Kim Kardashian. She likes to wear a lot of makeup. I like to wear a lot of makeup. Well, she's engaged right now, and we'll see, and the best of luck and all that. But it sounds like Courtney might be on the market, as it were. Anyways, so baseball starts Thursday. Um, the Yankees... Is it the Yankees and the Tigers? What happened to, you know, like the Sunday night? What are we, I guess what we're accomplishing right now by starting baseball, I think they're starting just a little early, uh, earlier than usual, um, is we're preventing baseball in November. Uh, so that's great. Um, I wonder if our fantasy playoffs will actually uh, still start. You know, like last year, it started almost like on September 1st. It was really kind of perfect. Um, or maybe it was like August 31st, something like that. But I wonder when uh, that's going to happen. I guess maybe if I am quick enough here, I can find out. Jersey Shore Boys, schedule. Um, it only says week 22. I uh, really don't see how I can figure that out. I guess well, there's one under... Yeah, I'm not willing to do it. So one of you guys can post, maybe on the comment thread of this video, uh, post that information. Um, and maybe get me up to date on the Kardashians, because I don't think I'll be watching the E! Network today. <laughs> Probably just the Sopranos Marathon with my e-cigarette. Uh, deep and the you know the DVR, uh, I got a lot of Sopranos and Entourage on there. Man, really hungry. I'm just gonna have some water though. Breakfast isn't for another hour. Ah, uh, well. Uh, let's actually. What I wanted to do was, um, you know, Brad's. Didn't, was that Brad last year? Supposedly wanted everybody to like rank every and everything. Well, I'm not going to go through all that. Um, but, uh, and I don't think anybody else ended up doing it. I think maybe what one person did was plug in. There's a number of websites that has um, where you can plug in just the whole roster and the computer will generate kind of like a preview for the team. Um, I'm not even going to do that, but I will uh, read over everybody's roster to you. Um, this is Bubs Devils, uh, he has, uh, we'll just go, you know, right down the line, I don't know if he set his lineup, so, um, this is not really going to be in, uh, any particular order, but we'll start with who's on his bench right now, um, and that's Derek Lee, uh, from, uh, Baltimore, um, I guess that's the Derek Lee that used to play in Chicago, um, for the Cubs, uh, I guess they got Carlos Pena um, this year, so I guess not really too much of an improvement. Uh, probably a little bit of a step down for the Cubs because Carlos Pena strikes out just a little bit more than Derek Lee, but certainly I think has more upside as far as home run potential, and I believe maybe bats from the left side of the plate. I don't know, maybe that was something that uh, Chicago was looking for. Anyway, Luke Scott, also on his bench, first baseman, uh, also listed as an outfielder. Uh, Scott Rowland, third base. Juan Uribe, uh, he's got second base, third base, shortstop potential, uh, or eligibility, and Maggio Ordonez. Um, not too bad. Um, you know, a very solid bench. 
Uh, nobody really is there with 100 runs or 100 RBIs, no real stolen bases on the bench. So this team is actually lacking speed. Uh, he's got two guys, Ichiro and Carl Crawford. And Ichiro uh, is, can be, in my opinion, a little inconsistent with the stolen bases. Um, you know, you'll see 50 out of him one year, and then, you know, the next year you'll see 28. Um, well, I'll try to actually be more accurate about that uh, as I'll bring up Ichiro's uh, career log uh, just very quickly. Stolen bases uh, for Ichiro. 50, this is going dating back all the way to 01. 56, 31, 34, 36, 33, 45, 37, 43, 26, 42. So, uh, and the 26, he did only play 146 games in 2009. But again, that's 146 games. If, you know, Alex Rodriguez plays in 146 games, and that's a normal season for A-Rod. Each row, normal season is to play virtually every game. He didn't do it that year, but either way, maybe, you know, maybe it was some problem with his legs. I don't recall the injury, but he only stole 26 bases. Now, in 08, he stole 43, and in 2010, he stole 42. So, um, certainly, you're probably looking at 40-plus stall bases. Um, the other guy, uh, speed guy on his team, uh, was Carl Crawford, 47 stolen bases. You're probably looking at the same total this year. Um, so while you're not, you know, all over, you know, have a bunch of guys with stolen bases, you're still, you know, you're looking at um, collectively you've got about 100 stolen bases uh, and you're starting a lot of maybe 95, um, something like that. So um, not too bad, but I would probably want more speed than that. I think he's lacking in runs. He only has one guy who had more, two guys who scored more than 80 runs last year. That was Michael Young with 99, and Michael Young, in my opinion, a bit of a inconsistent as far as playing 160 plus games a year or 150 plus games a year. Uh, if you go down his, uh, you know, dating all the way back to 2006, uh, his games went 162, 156, 155, 135, uh, 157. So only we really one injury plagued year. So um, you know, I guess maybe my perception is wrong there. Got 656 at bats uh, last year with a lot of at bats, um, and you know, 284, uh, not too bad. And 99 runs, 91 RBI, so uh, pretty good there. Call Crawford, 110 runs, 90 RBI. Um, obviously, I think you know, with the RBI has an opportunity to increase when he goes to Boston. Um, so you know, you've got he's got Dustin Pedroia. Uh, so just going down his starting lineup, uh, you know, Buster Posey, Justin Morneau. Um, sounds like he'll be okay. Pedroia, Michael Young, Alex Gonzalez, kind of generic shortstop there. Uh, we said Carl Crawford, Josh Hamilton. Uh, so he's obviously going to bring a lot of power uh, with Josh Hamilton, uh, you know, as long as he stays healthy. Uh, and he actually does have, you know, Carlos Pena and his utility position on top of each row. Uh, real quick with the pitching staff, um, not blowing me away here. Uh, Billingsley, Brett Cecil, Irvin Santana uh, had a bounce back year last year. Again, inconsistent. Uh, Annabelle Sanchez, Brian Dunsing, Edwin Jackson, um, you know, pedestrian, uh, for the most part, Dice K and Johnny Cueto. Cueto, you know, maybe with some upside, uh, Dice K, uh, in my opinion, big downside. And his relievers, Papelbon, Nathan, Bard, um, you know, he's gonna get some saves. Um, well, you know, you will see Nathan's gonna be mixed in. I was just watching, uh, the Twins game yesterday afternoon. Nathan's gonna kind of be nursed in, at least at the beginning. Uh, before he uh, takes over, because they definitely have, um, I think, Matt Capps uh, in Minnesota as well. So, uh, not too bad for uh, Team Bob. Um, you know, obviously, uh, as we look at it, uh, you, you think he has enough uh, offense uh, to get him to the playoffs. I think he's going to have to make moves uh, because if he doesn't, uh, you know, strengthen up his pitching, maybe waiver wire. Uh, he's not going to be a playoff team. So, unless Robert does, in, in my opinion, improve the pitching, I don't think he's going to be in the playoffs. Um, so that is Team Bub. Uh, we're gonna have that's one team, non-playoff team. So uh, we'll move on to the next team uh, after a short break, and um, we're gonna have to try to speed this up a little bit. All right.